going over my February favorites with you guys, and these are just products that I've found myself reaching for a lot this past month. So I'm going to start off with skincare, and the first thing I have is Max Cleanse Off Oil, and I absolutely love this. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, if you want great skin, the first step to having a healthy, glowy, acne-free skin is removing all of your makeup. No matter how tired you are at night, no matter what you're doing, take off your makeup. I never go one night where I don't take off my makeup. Even if I'm spending the night at a friend's house or I'm out really late, I always remove my makeup. And this has honestly been a godsend to me. I absolutely love it. And I have really, really oily skin. So don't think that just because you have really oily skin that using an oil on your face is going to make you break out. Because this works like a dry oil. So you just take a pump or two in your hand, put it on your face with no water, and it completely melts away all of your makeup. And I wear a long wearing foundation plus primer and setting powder and everything, and it just completely melts away. So I really love it. And then it transforms once it touches water into this nice milky lather, and it doesn't leave your face dry, but it also doesn't leave it greasy either. So I really, really love the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. The next thing I have is Kiehl's Acne Blemish Control Daily Skin Clearing Treatment. And this is a salicylic acid, ac acne <laughs> treatment, but I actually don't use it to clear up any spots that I have. I use it for the post blemish marks um, because I tend to get these dark marks left behind after spot clears. So I've been using this and previously I was using the Clinique Post Blemish Formula Pen and the Kiehl's um, Acne Blemish Control Daily Skin Clearing Treatment works so much faster. This is probably probably three times faster than the Clinique one, I would say. After not even a week of using it, I noticed a difference in my skin. So this is significantly, wow, I can't talk today, significantly um, faded my scars. So I'm really, really happy with it. And then the last skincare product I have is Oxy's Spot Treatment. And this is a vanishing cream, and it looks like this. Now, I don't really break out too often. I break out usually once a month during that time. And so this is a maximum strength benzoyl peroxide acne medication. And whenever I have a spot, I just kind of dab a little bit on there. And by the morning, it is either significantly reduced or it's completely gone. So this stuff really dries up the blemish and just gets rid of it, which I definitely am all for. Okay, so now on to the makeup stuff. The first thing I have sitting right here is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and this is in medium. Now... I don't know if you guys remember, but I've talked about this before, and the first time I tried it, I had a bad reaction to it. It kind of made my skin itchy, so I stopped using it, but I decided to give it another try, and so far, so good. I haven't had any kind of reaction to it, and I really, really love it. I still am using my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, but I use that to blot, and I use this to set my foundation, and it just gives a really natural finish. I'm sure you guys have all heard about it because it's talked about so much here on YouTube. Okay, so these next few products are all part of my new favorite blush routine, and I've been wearing this combination probably every day or close to it, and I've been getting a lot of compliments on it when I go into makeup stores or just walking down the street, and my roommates have all been asking me what I'm wearing, so I'm going to show you guys what it is. And the first thing I do is I take my NARS Laguna bronzer, which I pretty much wear every day anyways, and I just use this to kind of warm up my complexion, and it doesn't leave you orange, which I really like, and it's not really shimmery. And then I take my MAC blush in Well Dressed, which is just a really light pink color, and it doesn't really have shimmer in it. So I sweep the blush across the apples of my cheeks. And then I take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in By Candlelight from the Warm and Cozy Collection, which is just kind of like a pinky gold color. And it's shimmery, but it's not glittery. So it doesn't look like you have glitter all over your face, and I love it. And I just kind of line my cheekbones with this. 
And sometimes I might sweep a little bit across the apples of my cheeks, but it just makes me feel so radiant and so glowy. And it's really gloomy here, but when I wear this blush combination, it honestly feels like I'm walking around on a spring or summer day. So I really, really love it. So next, I have a couple of eyeshadows, and this first one is Ploof from MAC, and I love this. It's just a shimmery, kind of off-white color, and this is great to use on the inner corner of your eyes and on your brow bone. People are always asking me what I'm wearing on the inner corner of my eyes, and more likely than not, I'm wearing this color. I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing Albatross on the inner corners of my eyes, but I do wear Ploof a lot, but I also wear Albatross a lot. The next eyeshadow I have is also from MAC, and this is Twinks, and it's just a really nice brown color, and it kind of has some reddish, purpley undertones to it, and I've been wearing this a lot in the crease of my eyes along with Hypnotizing Eyeshadow from MAC, which came out with the Love Lace Collection. I think they really complement each other really nicely. So my next products are two mascaras, and the first one is Maybelline's Full and Soft Mascara, and I love this mascara because it leaves your lashes looking really natural, and they're like your natural lashes, only a little bit better. And so I usually use this as kind of like a primer underneath my mascara, but I also like wearing it on its own if I'm just kind of going to class or something. Um, this is really great for that. And then the mascara that I like putting over the top is YSL Faux Seals. I love this. The two separately are great mascaras, but together it's just, oh my gosh, my new favorite combination. I've been wearing it every single day. Okay, so my last few makeup items are all lip products, and the first one I have is, surprise, surprise, um, a Berry M Lip Paint in 129, and I got this in my swap with Fleur de Force, and it's just a really, really gorgeous um, kind of lilac, lavender, pinky lipstick. I love it so much, and that's what the swatch looks like. So I've been wearing this like non-stop. And then the last lip product I have is Max Tinted Lip Conditioner and Feeling Good, which is from the Warm and Cozy Collection. And I've been wearing this so much. It gives a really nice, natural, sheer tint to your lips. It really reminds me of Hue Lipstick, only it's really, really moisturizing. And the MAC Lip Conditioners smell so good. They smell like cake or vanilla and I love that. So I've been using this a lot. You can see the dent in it already. Okay, so that's pretty much it for all of my beauty related favorites and I just kind of have a couple random things to show you guys. So the first thing is this bracelet that I'm wearing right here, this bow bracelet, and I got this in my swap with Fleur de Force and this is from Topshop and it's just a really cute bow bracelet with some nice gold detailing around it and I have honestly been revolving all of my outfits around this little bracelet right here. It is so me, so girly and so feminine and I absolutely love it. So thank you again Fleur. And now the last thing I have is kind of strange, I'm sure you guys will laugh at me, but they are actually these fuzzy slippers right here, and they're very Cookie Monster-esque. I call them my Cookie Monster slippers. But I have this weird fascination or obsession with outlandish slippers. I've always been that way. I think because everything else I wear is very conservative and more subdued, so when I'm at home, I like to be a little crazy, and I always have crazy, in-your-face slippers. So these I actually got as a Christmas present from my best friend because she knows me and she knows I love weird slippers. So these are my favorite right now and I love them. They're super comfortable and they keep my feet nice and warm. So that's always a good thing. That is it for my February favorites. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye!